Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that I like. Uh, but before I get into this video, I gotta say this. So, uh, I'm so sorry for not posting over the weekend. I went to go look at a house, and I came back uh, just today. Uh, so, more videos are going to be happening. And also, um, a quick schedule fix. As you can see, recently I've been going on a lot of trips and stuff, so I've been trying to get a lot of schedules in, and a lot of videos in, in that little bit of a time, but I've been going to so many different places at once, not at once, but like, you know, over the weekends and stuff, but I haven't really had time to really fully explain the schedule. So, this schedule is going to be, I'm, I'm, I'm going to post every other day, so I'm posting on Tuesday, which is tomorrow, if, if you're seeing this, then it's, like, it's today, um, and then I'm gonna be posting on, I believe, Thursday, and then on Saturday, I think, and then on Monday, I think, yeah, so every other day, and on the days that I post, I'll record videos for the upcoming days. Now the thing is that with this weekend, you may not get uh, that many videos uh, because I'll have some company coming over. I won't be going anywhere, but I'll have some company coming over, and so I won't be able to really record because my family is really loud. So just saying. And also, um, I am trying to work things out with this schedule, and so things could change. Also, I turned down the gain of my mic, so hope that fixes some things so you don't hear as much background noise. I plan on getting a better mic soon, just to think you know. But now onto the video. <clears throat> so today I thought that I would talk about a show that I actually like, because I, I know that I speak a lot of negativity towards subjects, and there's just a lot going on with, you know, with my videos, so like, I'm, I feel like I've been very negative recently, so I thought maybe I would, um, kind of be more positive, more welcoming, uh, and talk about how I like TV shows. I, I, you know, I, there's TV shows that I like. I, I like Criminal Minds, uh, I like the originals, and I like The Next Defender, uh, Legacies, and so sorry if you're any background about this. Um, so Legacies is a really fun series, and it just started, uh, well not really just started, like it started back, uh, around the fall time, around like in October, and it ha- it has 16 episodes, and it's on its first season, and it, if you, if you've watched, uh, uh, Vampire Diaries and the originals, this is a spin-off of those. You know, and it focuses on Hope and her school. Now, I'm going to try not to spoil things, but you know how I am. I may slip a few bits of information, but it, if you guys don't want spoilers, then you probably want to click off this video. But before you do, I just want to say that if you have a Netflix, uh, a Netflix account, uh, you can watch it on Netflix right now. It just came out a couple of days ago, so... Um, watch it now, because you're, you're gonna want to catch up on it. Um, so, what, what this show is, is, okay, first of all, let me just say that, yes, it's a, it's another Julie Plex show. Okay, that's a good and bad thing. The good thing is that it's another one of her amazing shows that she's worked on, and it has worked. Bad news is that, well, we all know that characters are gonna die. Characters that we care about are gonna die. But at least these characters are much more welcoming than the ones on Proven Innocent. So that does something. So what Hope is, to, to give you a little rundown, if you haven't seen the originals or the Vampire Diaries, uh, Hope is um, an original vamp- not, not an original vampire. She is a- ori uh, she is part of the original family, right? Like, she's, she's part of the Michelsons. And I guess Klaus knocked up this person, and that person had werewolf in her blood, and, because, okay, so she's a werewolf, she's a vampire, and she's a witch. 
and it's hard to explain, um, but like it, like this show does a good job of explaining itself, you know, so, and it's self-aware too, so it's, so it's okay. Um, the one thing I like about the show the most, I think, is that it captures a lot of realistic aspects of, uh, how teenagers act. They're, they're, they're not as, like, as developed as adults, so they, they make some stupid decisions in life, and, you know, they, they get the consequences eventually, right? Um, and these, these students, like, are so, like, this hits a lot close to home, because it's like, I, I've never been to, like, an actual high school because I'm homeschooled, but I can imagine that this is kind of what it's like, you know? What, what, like, the cool thing about this is that, like, they, they made vampires and witches and, um, werewolves and all that. They made those people seem like welcoming people. Like, they seem like day-to-day, -day, uh, you know, your average run-of-the-mill human beings. But, like, well, technically they're not human beings, but I'm, like, I'm gonna just say, like, this, this, this part is a little bit hard to explain. Uh, what it is, is it's like, okay, so... It shows that they go through the same issues that we do as humans. And, you know, bullying, and thinking that you're not good enough, and, you know, maybe you're too good. And, you know, it, it's just like, it, there's just so many emotions that you feel throughout the whole episode. It's like, wow, they, they really captured these like, they, they really capture the essence of what real life is like. And, you know, and it's like, you, and, and what this does is it, it makes it so you can relate to these characters. And it does it in such a smooth way. And I think that's what, like, the best part of it. It, it makes the show for me because the, the characters are smart, funny, relatable, and also yet not so cliche at the same time, you know, like, they, they all have their own little personalities that, you know, cause like, of course, like, of course, like, you're gonna watch, like, Mean Girls or something, and you're gonna be like, oh, there, there's, there's so many cliches in that movie, you know, there's like, oh, here's the jocks, here's, here's the nerds, here's the hot girls, here's this, that, and that, and, but with this show, it's like, it's really, like, low profile, like, yeah, sure, there's a couple of characters that may seem very cliche, but at the same time, it's like they're all their own human beings. It's like they're not, like, it's not like a big part of, like, them singing that team, you know? Like, they, they branch out, you know? So, and I think this is perfect because, you know, finally, a show is, like, showing that, like, not everybody is that way. Not, not everybody has, like, not every high school has all of the groups, like, the nerds, and the jocks, and all, and all that type of stuff. Like, not every high school has that. So, I, I feel like that right there really makes the show, you know? Uh, uh, another thing I want to mention is that this show has a good way of being very smart. You know how, and let me just set up this cliche for you, because... This is amazing how they got through this. And in Criminal Minds, you s I think still does the same thing. But keep this in mind. So, like when a like when a character does something in a previous episode at like the end of the episode that is like bad or something, and then it, and then the next episode picks up kind of like right where it left, like not right where it leaves off, but like it kind of picks up a couple of days after or something. Well, so, like, okay, so say, okay, I, I'm just gonna, you know, say something, okay. Say if I threw a pencil at the water, and say that pencil was, let's just say this pencil had all the magical, uh, like, ancestral magic, or, or whatever, you know. It, this is just an example. And I threw it into a lake, uh, that would be known as a bad thing, right? Well, the thing is that the episode would probably end, and then 
on a normal show, it would be like, oh, oh my god, what happened last night? You know, it like it's like the characters are just not self-aware at all. On like and this is like a normal TV show, you know, and and like the characters are like they they don't know what's going on, and then there's misinformation, and then it it screws up the plot, it screws up relationship, it's you know like it, it screws up a lot of things. It, it's 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 just a big screw up, like a big thing. And so, but with this show, it's different because this show is actually very smart because when it when it picks up. Uh, the day after, like, not the day after, but, like, the episode after, uh, it's amazing, because, like, the characters know what's going on, and are really aware of the situation, and are trying to help get that pencil back, and this is, like, I'm just using an example, like, I'm, like, I'm trying not to give any spoilers, um, but, it, but it's not a pencil, okay, it's not a pencil in the actual show, just saying, um, but, the there's such an interesting concept of this show and the reason why i like it a lot is because not only can i relate to it but it's just it's smart like it's so rare seeing shows be that smart in those types of situations like seeing characters be that smart it's really rare and it doesn't happen af you know often and even in criminal minds it didn't happen that often so like like you know like and and I love Criminal Minds like it's not the top of my list. It may have ruined corn for me, but it's it's not the top of my list of shows that I really love. But still, you know, it's like wow, you know, it, it just it it's a breath of fresh air. Um, and so another thing that I like about that is that with this, it doesn't ruin any relationships. It doesn't ruin anything. I mean, of course, like there's. There was something going on within the plot of, like, the characters, like, some type of relationship malfunction a couple of episodes before that happened. Uh, so it's like, there's still some burnage from that, like, some, some, you know, some feelings from that episode, right? So, but that's not, and, like, that's not connected to what's going on right now in the show, right? So, and then there's, like, this, okay, so there's, like, this, uh, uh, this plot the whole show th these people are it's okay it's a company called triad and what they do is they try to like they will throw monsters into this pit you know and everybody will forget about them and you okay so first of all i gotta set this up a little bit i gotta give you a little bit of spoilers uh each episode uh, you deal with monsters. It's it's a monster like a week to week monster thing, where it, on like and you may not like this if you've seen the originals or the Vampire Diaries because the originals and the Vampire Diaries uh, are more focused on towards those characters and what they're doing in the situations. And there's not a monster of the week thing. There's there's like a there's like a problem of the week thing, but it's not necessarily a monster. Um, and so you 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 get my drift, right? Um, and the big issue that I have with those other shows is, is going back to those shows and watching it, because like I couldn't go back to the originals and watch it because uh, the originals is so different. It's so much darker, and it's it's just it like you got it like it's like. You gotta adjust your eyes, kind of, and, like, your your thought process, because, like, that, that gets dark. Like, there's blood everywhere and stuff, but, okay. Anyways, I'm, I'm drifting off into a different land. <clears throat> so, basically, uh, what I'm trying to set up here is that Triad is, like, the bad guy in the scenario, right? And... They, I, I don't know what type of, like, I'm not gonna give you the ending that they get, but I guess next season, this is spoilers, so they're not gonna really have a big part in that. Um, but, like, this, this black goo, uh, goo is, like, the, okay, the characters get artifacts, and then, uh, if, you know, the, so basically, 
in order to get this goo up and running again, like to get it up, because like it's it's a it's its own monster basically, because it can like it can absorb uh, people and stuff, and it's in liquid form now, right? But if it has a certain amount of artifacts, it can uh, get revived and everything. And uh, something happens at the end of the season. Uh, so basically, Hope and her little group of friends are all trying to get the uh, the artifacts into a safe area and stuff because you know there's one artifact and there's another and another and another. So like, yeah. Uh, and so with this artifact. You know, so like they're trying to keep these artifacts in a safe spot, so the monsters don't get it. Because if the monsters get it, then they are compelled to take it to Triad, and they blow up, or or they get thrown into the pit. Because they they see the blackness that's in because like the like the uh, the um, the Goo absorbed these monsters, like dragons and whatnot, all into this little goo, right? So the goo absorbed it, and what's inside it, and this is called Malivore, by the way. What's inside Malivore is darkness, just complete blackness, I guess, and there's just no way out of it, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's and so people forget about them because it's like an instant like memory erase type of deal. Where it's like if something falls into there, erased. Completely erased. Like if if I threw myself in there, nobody would remember me, is what I'm saying, you know? So I haven't even introduced all the characters and I don't think I will get to that because we are running out of time. But, I, I will just say this, all the characters work really well together. And, so basically, um, yeah, there's a Monster of the Week, and the reason why there's a Monster of the Week is because those monsters are trying to get those pieces so they can be free. You know? And, yeah, the plot gets old kind of quickly uh, at some points, but it's also very interesting at the same time, and I think it really makes a good storyline. Uh, because I don't really like Supernatural, I never really did, uh, but I really liked what Julie Pleck has done with the originals and with Legacies. I didn't really get into the Vampire Diaries that much because I just thought it was boring, it was very slow paced, and there wasn't a good ending to it, I heard, so, you know, but, but the originals had a, an okay-ish ending, it, it's a very controversial ending, but it was still an okay ending, and I, I thought it was a pretty interesting way of, you know, saying, oh, well, you've, you, you know, you've, you've, uh, seen these characters go through so much, but now they're dead, you know, so, not all of them. Um, and so, you know, Hope has a love interest, uh, I want, I, See, it's hard because, like, I want to tell you information, but I also don't want to spoil it. So, yeah, you're, you're, you, you might have to do a little bit of spoilers. Um, yeah, so that's why I think I like, um, you know, Legacies, because Legacies is amazing. Uh, and now on to some more announcements. Um, as many of you may know, I've been doing some, um, some ASMR roleplays, and a lot of people seem to really like them. So, I was thinking maybe you guys could recommend some ASMR videos to me. I'll probably put a card up at the beginning of the video, uh, and I'll let you be able to, um, you know, click on that, and you know, vote on what I, you know, like, tell me what I should do, basically. And you can also do this in the comment section down below if you want to. Um, I, I don't have a huge issue with it. 
But just keep in mind, I might stay away from Dr. World Plays for a little bit. Because I need to get money, and I need to... Well, first of all, like when I, like when I move, I'll be getting um, a job, hopefully. So, and I will be getting paid. So I'll be able to get uh, props for the videos and stuff, and a better mic, and a better camera. Uh, and hopefully, you know, that type of better stuff. And also, I just really hope that um you know that works out with uh you know trying to get that to work um and then also i really 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 uh want to just say a huge thank you to my subscribers uh to you guys and to anybody who has come across this video and has has seen it. I really hope that, you know, you enjoy your stay here. I have lots of other videos. Keep in mind, I'm a little bit negative at times. Just, just saying. Oh, and also, um, my Mr. Dank rant is coming out on Thursday. And, ah, uh, man, Mr. Dank. I, I wanna, I wanna hop on that live stream. You know, like, not live stream, but li I, I wanna hop on making a video on him again before he goes silent. Because he went silent for a couple of days. So I wanna, like, while he is just still starting up the stream, I wanna get in on that and I wanna, you know, tear it down before it gets anything. And listen, this isn't a big hate, you know, like, it won't be a hate video, it'll be more of like a more structured, like, Here's why I think that this could work, but it shouldn't work, you know? Like, like it, it doesn't work in some cases, you know? And, uh, follow me on Twitter if you want to. I, I, listen, it's up to you. It's completely up to you. I have no problem if you don't. Just, you know, if, if you want to, you know, keep, like, if you want to stay updated on when I post or, you know, or, like, if a video gets delayed or something, which sort of happens kind of often, um, I, I recommend that you go and check out my Twitter because I am semi-active. You'll see me at least post twice a day on there. Also, and that link is in the description below. Also, uh, my Discord is up, you know, it's, it's been up, it's more, like, it's, there's, it's just me now. So, uh, yeah, so... Well, me and a bot. So, if you guys want to, you know, post some memes or something, I'll make an area for you to post memes. Please be respectful of others, though. Uh, um, you know, and if, if you want to know more about the Elf Project, which I'll be talking about in literally just a minute, then, you know, that's how you can stay updated on that. Because I don't, I don't really think that that's going to be able to fit in a tweet, you know? So... So, and my last couple announcements, um, uh, the Elf Project, I'm trying to figure out how to do videos about that, so hopefully soon I'll be up, uh, I'll be upgrading my computer, uh, and hopefully that will happen at some point, um, but, you know, that, that can be sometimes interesting, um, also, I, um, I just, uh, I hope you enjoy the video, and if you do, thank you, and, um, I hope that you guys, uh, you know, will enjoy the next coming up videos, uh, and the new schedule, um, and yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.